I guess I could have gone to a school for BFA like a Juilliard or Carnegie Mellon, but my parents were very against that. Um, I really wanted to go to conservatory for undergrad, and uh, they were extremely vocal about why I shouldn't do that. So I listened to them, um, and I applied to a couple schools. I got into Yale, I decided to go, and I think it's like the best advice they could have possibly given me. And it's the advice that I would give to anyone who wants to be an actor, just to say, go to school. Like, just go make normal friends, like get some life experience under your belt, study other things. It makes your mind better. It makes you better at script analysis. It gives you more to draw on experience-wise in terms of your emotional life. I wouldn't be the same person, let alone the same actor, if I hadn't gone to school. I got out of school. I wanted to go back to graduate school. I knew I wanted to go back. I knew I wanted to, where I wanted to apply. I knew I wanted to apply the next year. So I thought, I'm just gonna take this year as like a freebie. I'm just gonna live in New York. I'm gonna make some money so that uh, I have something to live off of when I'm in graduate school. And uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about the rest of it and take acting class. My dad wrote a play that was on in LA that spring, right after I graduated. And he had an actress in a role that uh, dropped out of his play in the middle of the run to go do a movie and they didn't have an understudy because it was really like low budget theater in LA and he asked if I would just come and do the end of the run. So I went in and I just subbed in for this girl and someone, an agent, saw me in that run and called up an agent in the Gershaw office in New York and said, if this girl is ever doing anything, you should go and see her act. So this agent in New York found out about this play reading that I was doing and went and saw me in it and had a meeting with me afterwards and offered to represent me. And I got this small part in Fracture, this movie, which was my first job. And it was like crack cocaine. Like it was like a drug, seriously. And 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 that's why I didn't go to school. So I, I decided not to go to school in like June, mid-June of uh, 2006. And about a month later, I got my first theater job in the prime of Miss Jean Brody playing Sandy. And then after that, it was kind of like fairly steady work. Film-wise, um, I guess I would say the turning point has been, oddly enough, has been with Exploding Girl. I won Best Actress at Tribeca last year for the movie, and right after that happened, it became a lot easier for me to get offers um, on movie parts. I, I had to, I've had to audition a lot less in the last year since I won that award. But it's funny because they always tell you like it's a big budget movie that's gonna change your life. Like I did Nancy Meyers movie, um, uh, It's Complicated this last year, and everyone was like, that's your big break. But actually, Exploding Girl has done way more for me um, than any big budget movie has. What? Now, I've done my part with you guys, but Jane, you, very talented you. Oh, God. Gabby, I'm serious. I guess in five years I'd like to um, be in a place where I can uh, command money for independent movies. Uh, I'd like to have more of my plays produ produced. I've written a couple of screenplays, and I'd um, love to have them, uh, you know, made into movies. I don't know within the next five years, but hopefully at least one of them. Um, and, you know, I, I look to women like Hope Davis or Emily Mortimer or Maggie Gyllenhaal, and I watch them balance family with um, with their work. And I think, you know, five or ten years, I want kids. And it's hard as an actress, um, especially as a stage actress, to balance that. And um, I'd like to have worked that out a little bit more. Mm -hmm.